welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to make a winter coat. I got inspiration from two trendy coats that you're seeing everywhere this season. But instead of making two different DIY, I combined them in one DIY only. Because why not? So here we go. Here are the blankets I use for this DIY. I choose two different blankets with similar types of fabric with two trendy coats. I cut the big rectangle with 69cm width, which is 1.5 times a half of my hip side, and 110cm length, which is the length from the shoulder to over the knee, or the length of the coat you want. At the width line, I mark at the middle. From this mark, I mark at 8cm, two sides, so the width of the neck coat will be 16cm. At the length line, I mark at 3 cm, then connecting that mark to the mark at the neck, there will be the shoulder lines. From the end of the shoulder line, I mark at 28 cm on the length line, it's the width of my arm coat. Don't make it too small because you need to have a comfortable space for this coat. Now I'm drawing a line at 5 cm inside of the length line. Then drawing a curved line from the end of the arm to connect to this line. And this is the back of my coat. At the neck area, I'm also drawing a curved line as well. Fold the back patterns in half foot, then applying it to another paper and drawing. We will have the front pattern of the coat. However, the front will be shorter than the back 2cm at the shoulder. So I'm drawing another shoulder line at 2cm under the curtain line. Make sure the new shoulder line will have the same width with the old one. From one side of the front pattern, I'm drawing a new side line at 3cm outside of the current one. It will be the button area later. For the neck of the front pattern, I mark at 8cm down from the top, then drawing a curved line to connect to the side line. After cutting, we will have the front pattern for this coat. Connect the front and the back pattern together at the arm area. Remember to put them over each other as 1cm. It's the seam allowance for sewing later. Then check in the width of the arm from the front to the back pattern. It will be the width of the hand pattern. And it's 52cm. So I cut a rectangle with 52cm width and 50cm length, which is the length from my shoulder to over the wrist. Fold this rectangle in half after that. At one side, I mark at 18cm, so the width at the wrist of the coat will be 36cm. After that, I connect this pattern to the front or the back patterns at the arm area, then drawing a curved line from the end of the other side to the mark I just made, and it will be the hand patterns of the coat after cutting. Now I just need to apply the patterns on the blankets and drawing. After cutting, 
I'm overlocking them to protect the fabric by the zigzag stitching and overlocking breast of foot. Now I'm connecting the back and the front part together at the shoulder, then sewing. Next step is connecting the hand part to the main body of the coat at the arm area. After sewing, I connect two sides of the hand and two sides of the coat together, then sewing. And it's for the first side of the coat. Doing the same for the other blankets to have another side of the coat. After having two sides of the coat, I'm putting the right side of two coats together, then connecting them together at the button area and the neck area.
after sewing, I turn the coat over to hide the sewing seam inside. Then I'm making another seam at the button area and the neck to hold two sides of the coat together. Next step is finishing the end of the coat and the end at two hands. I fold two sides of the coat inside to hide the end foot, then sewing to finish it. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. This is a great way to have two trendy coats in one DIY. You can have two styles by turning it over. I hope you like this idea and try it out. And subscribe to my channel to check my upcoming DIYs. See you next week!